This is the second video in a series of videos on factoring trinomials. Today we're going to focus on the diamond method. Um, the diamond method is only going to work uh, for problems that involve a coefficient of 1 on the x squared term. So these are all ones that start with x squared plus 3x plus 4, something in that regard. Okay, uh, so here we go. The setup of this, uh, we have a diamond that has a couple items shaded. Um, the top and the bottom, we call that a purple product and a sandy sum. Uh, just give it a little ring to it. And to start out, looking at our first problem here, I notice that I need a product of 8 and a sum of 6. So the purple product is 8, sandy sum is 6. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to 8 that add up to 6. In this case, uh, the numbers are going to be 2 and 4. 2 times 4 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6. So my final factored form would be x plus 2 times x plus 4. You could then use FOIL to uh, double check, make sure that is the correct solution. Moving on to the second problem. Our purple product is 36, and our sandy sum is 12. Looking for two numbers that multiply to 36, that add up to 12. Let's see, 6 and 6. So that would make x plus 6 times x plus 6. Now that is a special product that we could rewrite as x plus 6 quantity squared as a perfect square. Number three, our purple product is 16, and our sandy sum is negative 8. I do want to emphasize on this particular problem that I noticed right away that the sign on the purple product was positive, and the sandy sum in the middle was negative. So I am going to need two negative numbers in this case, which is going to help us out as we think of uh, the numbers that are going to work to fit into this particular scheme. So we have two numbers that multiply to positive 16 that add up to negative 8. They both need to be negative. I'm thinking that's negative 4 and negative 4. Looks like it works. So next, we'll write in our factored form would be x minus 4 times x minus 4. That also is a perfect square, which would, we could rewrite as the quantity x minus 4 squared. Problem number 4. Our purple product is negative 22. Our sandy sum is negative 9. Looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 22 that add up to negative 9. One will have to be positive, and one will have to be negative. So I just notated that in the final factored form there already. And looks like the numbers we're going to use, 22 is divisible by 2 11 times. So I'm going to need an 11 and a 2, but they need to be opposite signs. Uh, since our final sum is a negative 9, I need to change this to a negative 11. So negative 11 times 2 is negative 22. Negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. So our final factored form is x minus 11 times x plus 2. Um, what I'm going to encourage you now is to try four problems on your own. Uh, I'm going to show a slide next that has these problems. And I would encourage you right now to uh, pause the video, uh, look at these four problems, work them out for yourself, and then uh, in a few seconds here, uh, after you unpause it, uh, the answers for these are going to come on and you can double check your answers against uh, an answer key. Okay, so hopefully you pause the video, uh, looking at these problems, and coming up with the final solutions, we get x squared plus 5x plus 6 factors into x plus 3 times x plus 2. Number 6 factors into x plus 5 times x plus 6. 
Number seven factors into x minus four times x minus three. And number eight factors into x minus 12 times x plus two. Uh, hopefully this video helped you a little bit uh, on working with trinomials that have a coefficient of one. So let's form x squared plus 5x plus 6 as an example.